Hi guys, Janet here, and I'm um, sorry it's been so long since I did a video, but I've been really busy. Um, I've actually been doing some um, mini albums, I just haven't been making videos. So anyway, I'm doing this one really quickly because this is a gift that I'm giving to my brother-in-law today, and I have to leave soon, so um, this is going to be hopefully just a one-take thing. So um, this is a mini album that I made based on Mariana's uh, design and I'll put a link to her tutorial down below um, that her YouTube channel is Angel Wings 14100 she does beautiful work great tutorials and I've seen a um, couple people do these um, same inserts that she made and oh they are so cute and and I would say really easy but <laughs> I think I had to watch the video like 10 times before I actually got it. I just kept watching it over. I was like, okay, what's the next step? And then I would do that. And then I'd have to say, okay, I have to watch it again. And then be like, what's the next step? So, um, yeah, I think I watched it at least 10 times. So, um, and that's just me because I'm kind of, um, I don't know if I'm a visual learner or not. Maybe I have to have things written down. But um, anyway, so once I got it, I got it. It's in my head now. And I, I think I'm, I might make a couple more of these because they're pretty fun. But anyway, um, enough blabbing. So this, um, I had to modify her design and I made it taller because um, because I had some stuff that I was going to put in this one and I knew it was going to be taller. So I used 12 by 12 paper and then just modified the height. I think, I think my cover is 12 by 9. So um, what I did was I went to this bike shop that my brother-in-law likes and I picked up a bunch of postcards and announcements about upcoming bike tours and races and stuff that are happening around town. And this one was there, and I think it was a race that had already taken place. It's something called Revolution 3, and I thought it was absolutely the most beautiful um, postcard. So I wanted to use that for the cover because it's kind of sepia-colored and really old-fashioned, and it has Portland on the cover, which I thought was really cool. And then... Um, this is the spine. It says Mike and Bike. <laughs> That's my brother-in-law, Mike. And there's a um, bike shop here in town called Hike and Bike or Bike and Hike. So I thought that'd be funny to put that on the cover. And then uh, the back is just kind of plain. And I apologize for the um, camera work here, but um, I'm limited as to where I can do these. And my I can't get my camera back far enough to really do this well. <clears throat> anyway, so um, the papers that I used was a mishmash. I, I used some of that timeless type from DCWV. That's what's on the cover. I used some bow bunny, etc. papers inside. And then I also used some simple stories and then a few other ones that I don't even know who the manufacturer was that were bike oriented that I just picked up at my um, local scrapbooking store. So anyway, um, this was Grinch board that I covered with some, just a leftover piece of paper, but I liked it. Um, it was kind of sepia colored and then this is on with velcro that's a Tim Holtz gear and then a recollections screw brad inside um, I also had to um, modify this for this big huge map that I put in there it's a, a big um, map biking map of Portland and Vancouver and um, as you can see, I made a really thick little pocket there. So that holds that in really well. And then there's a brochure back there. Over here, I did use some magnets like um, Mariana likes to do, or Mariana, I'm not sure how she pronounces her name. Um, so that was kind of challenging for me. I don't think magnets are my favorite thing to use, just because I think they're difficult. But I mean, they look, I mean, they look cool. And then, um, this. <laughs> I just put that in there as a placeholder so that my brother-in-law knows there's a little space there if he wants to tuck something in. This is a pocket. I've got his, some more brochures and his um, gift certificate to his, his bike place that he likes to buy stuff. And um, then it flips over here. I made a pocket on this page to hold some more brochures. And um, right here it says, on the road again, um, which I thought was funny because he actually broke his collarbone. Um, riding his bike a uh, month and a month or so ago and so I thought when he can actually ride his bike again he could uh, write a little thing about his accident there 
And then over here, this is a um, trifold page. And I use the magnets here too. That You know what's challenging about the magnets is remembering to put them on before you mat your stuff. Um, this is Simple Stories. And this is that biking paper that I don't know who did it. And um, so, you know, he could put some pictures of his bike in there if he wants. And there's room to journal. And not that he's necessarily going to do that. But he might write down, like, some of the trips he did um, if he can actually ride his bike again. And then um, I thought it was funny. It says, out of gasoline up here. <laughs> Which wouldn't happen if you were riding a bike. But, you know, if you're... Um, Sometimes you know how you say you, you run out of gas when you're doing something. I can see how that can happen when you're on a bike ride. And then this is the bike store that he likes. And I just put their logo right there. And then this flips down. And this is the, the page. Oops. It's got some bicycles on it. I just left that plain. And then this is the pocket page. This is Bow Bunny Etc. paper. And um, it just has a pocket in there, and I left that plain. That flips up, and then um, I just use some. Whoop, my camera's gonna fall. Um, I just use some uh, like postcards and stuff like that, and then that's um, where you attach it. And I just thought it was kind of cool looking, just sort of collagey. So I thought he could, you know, paste some more stuff on there, or some pictures, or something like that. And then I just left that plain up there. Um, and then that's the back, so that's the back page. And then that flips down. Hold on. That flips up. And then this flips over. Phillips closed. And then I use Velcro because I couldn't quite do them. I thought the magnets were too bulky for the cover. So anyway, that's my video. And, um, I have a bunch more mini albums that I've done that I will um, hopefully find time to do some videos for. So anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you.